administrative center of the costume shop. This is where my desk is. Bree, who is the costume and rental coordinator. Christy, who's behind the, ca the camera. And Kim Bitzo, who is our shop manager. So this is where you come when you have any questions to ask or advice. You're looking now at one of the areas where the drapers and the drapers team work. In the shop we have five draper tailor teams, which are a draper tailor, two first hands, two stitchers, staff stitchers, and four apprentices who work on that team. The team consists of multiple cutting tables, somewhere to hang stuff, and project boxes where things are organized um, by project, by show, by the draper. The draper is the one that sets the schedule for the team and works with the designer and with those of us in the corral to get the work done. our fitting rooms slash winter storage rooms. Um, this is where we do all of our fittings. We have four fittings rooms that we can use simultaneously as long as there's no pandemic. Uh, right now we're working on making some curtains for this room, but this room can be used for bigger garments that have long trains. You can open the door and have a bigger space. The other two rooms are their own separate rooms. And um, in the rooms, we have everything you need for a fitting. These all get restocked at the end of the day with brand new shirts and tights and socks for the next person and the next day to come in and have fresh things. This is our craft and millinery shop. Um, crafts in general is in charge of anything that's um, accessories to your costume. So they'll deal with the shoes, they'll make any of the necklaces, armor, um, anything that needs to be uh, added, such as sword belts. Uh, then millinery, they deal with all the hats and headwear. Uh, veils, they're bane of existence, I hear. Um, and here we have on this team, three to four people per season in the millinery team. And on the craft team, it's the same. They work side by side and help each other out. And um, that's it. Hi, and welcome to the Santa Fe Opera costume dye shop, dye paint shop, I should say. This is the next chapter in the magic of theater. And this is where all of that happens, changing the color, ombre, um, distressing, making something look like it isn't. And that's what the brilliant people that work in this room do. We have our giant kettle, we have an area for working small, and we have lab equipment that we use for measuring, all within good safety practice. This room is our spray booth. The entire room, yes, is a booth. Some of you will have seen that. The whole wall here, this is the filter. So there's a giant fan on the other side of that that sucks the fumes out. And you can see how much stuff goes out there. This is a new filter. And these are, this is a filter from last year. So we change those out every year before we start. Um, this room also houses all of the fire cabinets, all the flammable cabinets, so that anything that sprays, anything that needs to, um, come into those kind of cabinets, those are here. This is the wig and makeup room. Um, generally, we don't come in here that often, uh, except if we have some hats that go along with the wigs or something that's gonna affect the styling and the fit of the wig. Uh, wig and makeup is their own separate department here. However, we do work in the same building side by side. Hi, this is our costume library. We have over 1,400 items which consist of books, CDs, DVDs, libretti. Um, we also keep an archive of our measurements in this room. 
Um, this is a great resource for designers, uh, drapers, team leads, and as well as apprentices, drag apprentices to do research for whatever it is they're working on. This is our community kitchen. We've got two fridges, three microwaves. You can have uh, complimentary coffee and tea here, as well as uh, have your lunch break at the table here. Um, we also have plates and mugs if you need to borrow one. Um, but the most important thing is to remember to squeeze out the sponge. This is our laundry room. Uh, we've got two washers and two dryers. We also store Welcome to the vault storage. Uh, if you follow me, I'll show you where we store all of our fabric rolls. These are fabric rolls that are left over from shows that have kind of gone back into a general stock. We have them um, uh, organized by fiber content and color. We also have um, this shelving unit back here with our wools and our synthetics. We have our velvets that we hang. And then over here, we've got all of our trims and buttons. Um, over here, we have bundles, and that's kind of like a yard or less of fabric that we don't have on a roll. And that's kind of, that's kind of the first place we go to. If we're looking for a fabric remnant, remnant um, we check our bundles. And this is where we have our accessory storage. Uh, we've got belts and ties, uh, jewelry, we've got socks, tights, stockings, um, anything from shoelaces to mic packs to brassieres to neck ruffs. Um, you will find all the accessories in this area. This is an example of a draper rack. Um, here I had pre-assigned petticoats for our show Magic Flute. Um, each artist gets a rack divider for every show that they're in with uh, their role and obviously their name in the show. And that's how we keep all the costumes organized within the shop. Here's our shoe storage. We've got women's shoes and men's shoes on this level. Um, these are here so that design assistants can access the shoes very quickly during fittings. We've also got um, box shoes, we've got a lot of knee boots and uh, specialty shoes that we keep in individual boxes. Hello! <laughs> this is our notions room. Um, this is where we keep all of our linings, our threads, uh, Machine feet, elastic, shoulder pads, Petersham, grain, needles, anything you need to make your garment. Uh, this room gets inventoried and reordered every year before everyone comes, and that is my job among Kim's jobs as well. Hi, welcome to the wardrobe area of the costume shop. This is where all of the prep for every show that we do takes place by the wardrobe crew. That would include apprentices who are staying to be dressers and the professional crew that we have for every show. So come along with me now and we're going to go look at some of the other parts of wardrobe, which include the dressing rooms and the wig and makeup areas. This first room is the auxiliary dressing room. Dancers, extra people, people who need uh, any sort of particular situation for getting dressed, the costume's huge, whatever that might be, might be put into this room. This connects to the women's dressing room. Part of the, part of the room here is used for storage of shows 
because we work in rep, some shows are, um, well, only one show is on the stage. And the rest of them have to be stored somewhere. And this is one of the spaces where a show might be lined up. Shoes, hats, clothes on racks. Every dressing room is equipped with showers and bathrooms for everyone. Water fountains, of course. You got to drink warm water. Normally, this room would be filled with chairs, people, and whatever show is working is lined up against this wall. So this is just the women's room. Everyone, every chorus member has a space assigned to them. So no matter what show they're in, they always sit in the same place. And coming out here into the hallway, because this part of the building is um, climate controlled, that's why we have our pianos stored in here for the winter so that they don't get too dry or get too dusty or too hot. Principal men's dressing room. So all principal uh, men are put in this room together for each show. The show that's working will be lined up against this wall. Again, dressing rooms are equipped with showers, toilets, and usually there's a table that's inside there where the wardrobe person actually does some work. This connects to the principal wig and makeup area. That also connects to the, the women's um, dressing room. So between the two of those, the principals come into this room and the wig and makeup crew is in here doing their makeup and putting on whatever wigs. The chorus room for wig and makeup Unfortunately, it is being painted at the moment, so we can't go in there and show you that. But it doesn't look, it's bigger than this, but it doesn't look very different. Women's dressing room. It's a mirror of the men's. Again, whatever show is working is in the, um, is in the room. At the end of the night, it's taken out and put into the hallway where these pianos are and where the lighting fixtures are stored for the winter. Normally they're not there. So each show is actually stored on this level. And that's the work that the wardrobe crew does every night to switch it out because we do work in rep. This is our basement storage, one of two costume storage rooms. In here we have housed uh, full shows as well as armor and shoes that we don't use quite as much as upstairs in the vault. We also have our uh, fur and um, I use this space to store the hampers for shows that we send out. If you'll follow me, I'll show you um, our pattern archive. This is our pattern archive. We have it organized by show and time period is listed with um, under the show. We also have a little general stock area of patterns uh, like men's ethnic sleepwear, collars, petticoats, bloomers, uh, millinery, crafts, things like that. Um, we also keep all of our mock-ups down here which our design assistants can use to put into rehearsal. costume storage. This is where we house a large majority of our stock. We have our general stock here as well as package shows um, on this level. It's in total about 9,000 square feet of storage. We've got double rails as you can see. Um, we've organized our stock by type, color, size, time period, things like that. 
um, so we can find things easily. Um, the apprentices will use our stock the most in August during apprentice teams. Uh, so they are, they pretty much uh, can, can pull anything from stock that's not reserved for a show going out. And um, from time to time we have sales when we run out of space because if we build five new shows, each show has five racks. There we go, 25 racks. So we run out of space quite quickly. But um, yeah, this is climate controlled. Um, we have made rack covers for some of the uh, upper racks to protect it from dust and light. Um, we work hard to preserve the life of the costume and hang it properly. So we always use hanging loops. We use padded hangers when necessary. Uh, we try and hang our kimonos, robes, heavy things like that all properly. We also store down here our hats and our fur. We have two fur freezers. Um, another thing we keep in archive of down here is our Bibles. So all of our show Bibles uh, live down here. And those go back to the 60s.